Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today I wanted to talk a little about how to set up a coordinate system when you're using both the Coords button or the Star 3 button and you want to set the size using a separate distance constraint between two trackers. So here's our default uh, shot and we'll just uh, get that going so you can see what starting point we're working from. So we're going to initially have you know, just a completely unaligned shot. So we'll, we'll use the Gwords button, you know, which is star three on the coordinate system setup panel. And we'll set up our basic uh, coordinate system here. So everything is flat down on the ground again. And let's suppose now that we want to use these two trackers here as, as a distance constraint that maybe we've gone and measured out on this particular job site. So we'll go over to the coordinate system setup panel and we'll select the one tracker and then alt select the other tracker and that sets up a link between the two maybe a little hard to see with the compression um, and we'll set the distance between them to be I don't know uh, 11 units 11 and a half whatever um, and now we can go and resolve the shot and if we switch to the constrained points view see actually we get a fairly high error in that distance constraint here's the distance constraint between those two points the error of 1.8 uh, units because there's actually still already a size constraint that's kind of built into what that Gwords or star 3 tool does which happens here on the second point. And if you look at it, the second point here along the x-axis is actually locked to the coordinates 20, 0, 0. And that effectively is a size constraint as well. So we've got one size constraint saying that it's 20 units between the origin and that point. And we've also got another that says it's, you know, it's 11 units between those other two points. So that's the conflict. So to get rid of that conflict, when you want to use a different uh, distance constraint, you just go back to that second point and change it from being a lock point to just being on the x-axis. Now there's nothing that says where, you know, how far it has to be from the origin exactly. So now if I go and redo the solution, now all my errors are, are zero and the distance is the value that I want. So pretty simple. You just need to go back and uh, adjust that one size uh, constraint. Thanks a lot.